Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 18th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, look at volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the sun for the past 48 hours, as we did have quite a little frenzy of solar flares yesterday, and it continued throughout the day today, but only C-class range. And from that active sunspot region that kind of blew up in a 24-hour period, right now we've got pretty large plasma prominence or plasma filaments stretching from the surface right now from each corner of our sun. Amazing images here brought to you by Go 16 and Solar Ultraviolet Viewer. 171 angstroms here, and we have that outgoing big coronal hole. And I think our solar winds topped out at about 600 kilometers per second, which isn't too bad for a coronal hole wind stream, but it's about average. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Happy that they are back up in action after seeing some pretty damaged equipment after a flood throughout their facility literally leaving us without imagery for the last two weeks of the year and look at these sunspots they are very big folks stay aware prepared solar maximum already double the predicted value of sunspot regions and we've seen some pretty strong solar flares over the past 12 months as we are here and these are some pretty big sunspots. 3964, the big player. 3961 is primed just like it. Very similar in viewing. 3959 is massive. Probably fit about four Earths inside that thing. Current space weather conditions. We are under R1. Minor radio blackout impacts expected. Degradation of high frequency radio. Solar winds are still up there a little bit. Coming in at 490 kilometers per second. Solar flex 222. Strong M class solar flare and frenzy yesterday. And as I said, about eight C class solar flares throughout the day today. So about a dozen yesterday, and eight of them were M. We've seen almost two dozen solar flares in the past 24 hours to 48 hours. Things are picking up. Having a look here at the Space Weather Prediction Center showing that big coronal hole wind stream that is affecting us and will right up until about the 21st of January. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral is showing their space weather prediction here. See me taking off towards Earth, but will give us a glancing blow. Looks like 18th into the 19th. So yeah, tonight and into tomorrow. Tonight's Aurora View Line versus tomorrow. Not too much to show. Alaska 2 showing a small spectrum of our sun for the past 48 hours and its cosmic energies leaving pretty sizable and fast-moving CME taking off from the southern hemisphere there. And as well throughout the day, minor coronal mass ejections from the plasma filaments that are dancing around the surface that I showed earlier there. Now let's get to earthquakes as we've had a very deep earthquake occur today. 602 kilometer depth in the Fiji region. This is where we see our deepest earthquakes on the planet. And 602 is the deepest that we've seen the past seven days. So heads up, earthquake warning is in effect. Pretty deep earthquake there, Peru and as well, Argentina. This was a quiet region for the last couple days. Caribbean. Seismicity coming back to Puerto Rico. Notable earthquake here in the Gulf. 3.5 earthquake in Mooring Sport, Louisiana. As well, sizable 3.7 earthquake reported here in Hawthorne, Nevada throughout the day today. No major swarms to talk about across the North American plate. Alaska all of a sudden has gone quiet, but lots of SO2 coming from the Aleutian Islands. And then, of course, we've got the big island of Hawaii, and this is a look at infrared imagery showing the summit caldera of Kilauea Volcano. 
as it is pouring out more lava than it was yesterday, as it has almost completely covered the caldera with fresh, moving, and erupting lava. Carrying on here for earthquakes, notable earthquakes in Japan, 4.6 ranging up to 5.0, but six of them. Earthquakes still rocking Tibet, and all of a sudden has gone quiet across the African plate. Four active and erupting volcanoes cross the North African plate. Big deep earthquake today, Fiji, 602 kilometer depth. Largest earthquake we've seen the past seven days is a 6.8. Japan. This is a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. As of late, we've seen very active African plate, Indian plate, and of course, all around the Pacific Ring of Fire, but it's been way too quiet up into the Pacific Northeast, Juan de Fuca. So, heads up. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by our active and erupting volcanoes. Big plume coming out of Central Pacific, Kilauea, and as well active volcanoes through Mexico. And I said no notable plumes coming out of the Aleutian Islands through Alaska. There are three active and erupting volcanoes there, but all minor activity, but still spewing sulfur dioxide into our atmosphere. Nasty emissions still funneling out of China. And as well, India. I showed that last week, just amazing imagery to be able to see all that smog just being sucked right out of India and as well, China. Big plume over Central Africa. As there is, as I mentioned earlier, active and erupting volcanoes through the region near Agongo, near Mirigira, or to Ale, Fantail. Now let's have a look at world weather as we've still got some pretty strong systems scooting across the Atlantic. Gulf system smashing into Europe in the long range. Big, strong blizzard-like conditions expected for Iceland. Stormy conditions for eastern Canada and northeastern United States in the long range. South Africa, you're going to be seeing days upon days of daily evaporation rains, but low pressure system is still trapped in between Madagascar and Mozambique. Watch for stormy conditions through Argentina all week long as well. Tropical system affecting northwestern regions of Australia and monsoon rains through Indonesia. Possible cyclone there heading for New Zealand in the long range. These forecast models are right up until January 29th. So this is at least a 10-day forecast here for you. And thank you so much for watching. We're going to leave you here looking at the Pacific Ocean as there's a big high-pressure ridge across the West Coast. And it's going to be a very windy and dry next few days before a low-pressure system comes in and will bring some snow to higher elevations, Sierra Nevada, California. And then eventually that high-pressure ridge will squeeze out and these low-pressure systems will start moving in. Welcome to Winter 2025 and welcome to Daily Events Worldwide. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun.